Hey there, metalheads! This is Metalvania! Keeping it metal and keeping it gaming. RPGs, JRPGs, who dislikes them? Who doesn't like them? Every single thing about RPGs and JRPGs are just absolutely unbelievable. From the stories, to the, the characters, the dialogue, the colorful graphics, the enemies, so many things that I can name that are so amazing about these games. But what if there were an anime animated series based on the JRPGs that you've liked over the years? Well, that is exactly what we are going to be talking about today. What anime animated series am I talking about today? Persona 4, the animation anime series. Yeah. Rock and roll! based on Persona 4, the video game on the PlayStation 2. So I just picked this series up, I watched every single episode, I binged watched them, and I'm gonna give my point of views, the highs and the lows on them, so let's get to it! The stories about the protagonist, Yuna Rokami, arriving to the city of Eniba to live with his uncle and adorable little cousin for a year. Yu Narukami sees that the town he's going to be stuck in for a year has very little to offer and not much to do. Which he is not used to being a city boy and all. And he is informed by a young man at the gas station he's going to want to work or find a way to keep himself occupied in this bone dry town. But at least he feels at home once he settles in with his uncle and cousin who welcome him with open arms. And it turns out little Nanako's dad is a detective who is always working and she hardly ever gets to be with because he just flat out takes whatever case and just leaves, leaving her to take care of whatever chores around the house. Bogus. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How old is this child? What are you doing? Gosh, she needs to be a kid. I don't care if you're a busy detective and need to provide and make a living. Be a person. Be a person, man. Choose a profession where you can make great money and still have time for your family. Dope. Hey, let's not forget this adorable moment, just like in the game. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. So anyway, it turns out that a murder has occurred, and the corpse happens to be a television reporter, Mayumi Yamamo. Yu Narukami goes to school the next day and makes friends with Yukiko and Chie and Yosuke. Yukiko and Chie suggest trying out this rumor that is going around that if you look at your television on a rainy night at midnight while it's turned off, you will see your soulmate. But it turns out that the person you see is really the next murder victim for the darkness. Yu Narukami actually attempts it and realizes there's a way of going into the televisions and slightly gets sucked into his TV. <laughs> okay. They go to Junez, and Yu checks if the same thing will happen with one of the flat screens. Yosuke and Chie see it's happening, and freak out, and they all wind up falling into the TV, warping into another world full of fog. Excellent. They encounter an odd-looking teddy bear named Teddy, who guides them, and they run around dungeons that represent the inner persona of the person who's gonna die, and save them from the evil plans that they have. So very much like the game, you are battling your inner psyche. How do you do that? By taking a dive into televisions and taking on wacky, trippy-looking shadows. You're battling your inner persona and others' personas. And when you acknowledge it's you, the real you, it becomes your strength and power when battling the darkness when you go through each dungeon representing the next victim's psyche. Not too bad for an anime series based on a very popular JRPG. So was it necessary to make an anime animated series based on the game Persona 4 on the PlayStation 2? No, not really. But is it phenomenal? Yes! I absolutely loved it! Okay, it was very much true to the original. Well, I'd say about 90%. Um, 
you know, it did have some of its own elements, but it was mostly true to the video game. I absolutely loved it and so entertained by it. Now, I mean, when you watch this series, it makes you want to play the video game. And then when you play the video game, it makes you want to watch this series. So, you know, it's a win-win situation with this. So if you like Persona 4 on the PlayStation 2, you will definitely like Persona 4, the animation anime series on DVD. You will absolutely love it. It is absolutely awesome. It's wacky. It's wild. It's crazy. It's dark. It's metal. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been Metalvania. See you in the next episode. Keep it metal and keep on gaming. Hey, you there! Yeah, you! That's been watching the video this whole time! I know you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button for more great videos I'm gonna make, so do it! You know you want to!